when you find out your child has cancer, nothing else matters. Diana Jenner's three-year-old son, Logan, underwent three rounds of chemotherapy and a bone marrow transplant, only to see his acute myeloid leukemia relapse at the age of five. When cancers return, um, doctors usually uh, have a challenge in selecting treatments. It's like entering this gigantic maze. Researchers at Florida International University believe they found a way to eliminate some of the trial and error in cancer treatment. Combining DNA analysis with extensive drug testing, the scientists say they're able to see within days how small samples of a patient's living cancer cells respond to numerous potential treatments. We tested over 120 FDA-approved drugs directly on the patient's cancer cells, and we did that within a week. The lab collaborated with Logan's doctor to identify treatments that worked and eliminate those that did not. One of his medications is very toxic to the heart. And what our testing showed us was that the regimen without that medication worked just as well with the tumor cells as it did with it. In a peer-reviewed pediatric study published in Nature Medicine, only one of eight participants with advanced relapsed cancers saw improved health with standard treatment. But of the six children receiving treatments guided by the FIU lab, five improved, including Logan, now eight years old and cancer-free for more than two years. I don't think my son would be here without this study. Although the small FIU study focused on children, researchers say their method also works in adults. They're conducting ongoing human trials with Cleveland Clinic. In Atlanta, Jonathan Seri, Fox News.